Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a really, really special video for you today where I'm going to be going truly in depth into this Bitcoin chart to go through every single step of the way, bringing us up to where we are now and what we are looking for for our next target. I'll be explaining the current trade that I'm in, where I'm looking to take this and how I originally got into this position. Ladies and gentlemen, I truly want you to pay full attention to this video, not for myself, but for you. Because if you truly pay attention, if you make some notes, if you record why I'm taking the trades I'm taking, I can make you so much money because this market is open for the taking right now. It is just absolutely perfect. So please do yourself a favor and make me happy by paying attention and going through the technical analysis with me today. Trust me, this is gonna be the most professional and one of the best videos you have ever seen in your life. You can hold me to that 100%. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the charts, get into what we love, and that is trading Bitcoin. And so obviously this is a blank chart, and this is what I'll always say. Blank chart, you're gambling. If you have no technical analysis on your charts, how are you meant to know when you're longing, where your invalidations are, stop losses, where your targets are and take profits? You have no idea in the world. You have to spend some time doing some technical analysis prior to taking a trade. Okay, I've already done that and we add on a few of our levels that we've been trading from over the past few weeks now. These are not new levels, but they are very well respected. And so I want to talk you through this section of the chart, primarily over the last two days, okay? And then I'll go on to what's happening right now, the long position, hint, hint, that I am in, and where I'm looking to take this for the next target, okay? But before we get into what's happening now, as always, I'd like to educate you and so you can learn the process. And I want to just talk through this bit of price action here, okay? And then we'll move on to what's happening right now. So pay attention. It obviously all started originally, as you all know, we had the all-time high break. We obviously fell back down and we got the retest of our point of control. You know, myself and a few others taking shorts up at around that $66,000 level. In the end, we obviously got our big pullback to the downside. Okay, we came up for a swing failure pattern off the prior highs. And that was obviously just the range high at the time. And we obviously fell back down. And this is where it starts to get very interesting. This section right here. And it was as soon as we fell down to the lows here, as soon as we fell down to the lows, of, of course, hitting that weekly level of uh, support at the time, uh, my brain started to activate. <laughs> my brain started to activate. And I thought to myself, as soon as I saw this, what, what is going to be happening here? And it's obviously the head and shoulders. In before the head and shoulders charts start to come out. And I recognize straight away, well, here's going to be where people are recognizing the left shoulder. This is going to be the head. And I'm, you know, personally, I'm expecting obviously a bounce off of this weekly and for us to form the right shoulder. So very, very early on, I'm recognizing, hey, this is this is the potential. This is what the market makers are going for. Let's absolutely crush this one. And obviously, uh, we bounce off the weekly. We grab the liquidity. Obviously, I was short from the daily level. Uh, which was, I had obviously two shorts open, one from 66,000, uh, 666. And obviously this was a daily level at $63,555. So that short from there, as soon as we come back down below the weekly, closed out my short. Why? Because, well, really simply because I recognize that this is a really big level of support. I was waiting for this weekly to be taken because why? There's a liquidity resting below it. On the first touch, obviously Coinbase, $60,000 $60, tapped exactly. And there's just resting liquidity, cool liquidity below it. So once we had taken that liquidity, that for me was the activation of, okay, we can now go for this right shoulder. Okay, obviously at this moment in time, we've taken the liquidity, formed our range, and obviously ending in another swing failure pattern. And then we obviously start to build our way back up. But, you know, the first thing that you want to write down a note here is that when price is moving down, when price is moving down, I'm very happy to close shorts, yeah? I'm closing shorts at the lows and looking for longs. When price is rising, I'm looking for shorts. When price is dropping, I'm looking for longs. Most people, when price is dropping, are scared looking for shorts. When price is rising, they're very bullish looking for longs. I'm really flipping that on its head here. You have to be prepared. You have to have a plan. Otherwise, it's impossible, period, to maintain without the emotions, yeah? In, in trading, it's very much drawn to emotions. It's it, the, the market is designed truly to take money from inexperienced new traders and give it to the professionals who are able to just trade the charts for what they are. Yeah, truly, 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 that is 
100%. So if you are emotional, if you have no plan, you will definitely lose money. That's why you need to be very careful in this market. So obviously, at this moment in time, we've taken the liquidity from the lows of the weekly, obviously ending in a few swing failure patterns of the lows, showing great demand, and obviously price starts to build its way back up, okay? Building its way back up and back up and back up. And this is what I'm thinking at the time. I was saying to my team, again, you can check all the timestamps. This is before it happened, giving exactly what I'm wanting to see, okay? And this was on the 25th, uh, three days ago now. I said to my team, I actually want to see a move up to around $63,800 basically to take those highs. So we're looking for a swing failure pattern type trade off of 63,800 highs, e.g. the old daily level, which I probably assured. As you can see, other people recognizing, learning, yes, we're going for the swing failure pattern off the top of the old range, obviously taking the liquidity above this. You can see people can learn what I'm talking about here. It's, it's not difficult when you know what you're on about. So we're looking for 63,800. We go back to the charts here, you can see, obviously, that is referring to these highs here when I'm saying I want to see those highs taken. OK, that's 6,300. Exactly as predicted, we come up above the high. And this is where I'm thinking to myself, right, I want to see the reaction. Yeah, for me, the short position is based off of the reaction. If we had continued up, I would have taken no short. But we were given the short off of 6,300 after we form that swing failure pattern. That is then activated. We were waiting to see the reaction off of those highs. We have seen the reaction off of those highs, which is a swing failure pattern. This is a non-emotional short trade that can be taken. Okay, very, very, very simply. We knew the level to wait for, and this is a not a random level. It was very, very, very precise, let's be honest with you. And as soon as we are hitting that level, we wanna wait for the reaction, we see the reaction, we take the trade. That's really, really, really simple. On top of that, we also had a few different levels of confluence, and that was the biggest one being, now we've taken that liquidity, this head and shoulders that we've been waiting for really has activated, really has come to life, so to speak. Uh, we were waiting for it way back from the first touch. We saw our liquidity grabs. We've seen the rise. We've seen the swing failure pattern each step of the way. You know, it's, it's gone pretty well so far. And obviously that gave us on the lower term time frames one of the most perfect pitchforks we're ever going to see. Again, very early on, alerting to my team why we've rejected from where we have on the retest here, on the top of the pitchfork. Yeah, I'm giving my team exactly the reasons what's happening here. We obviously rejected off of the Igor sessions. Shout out to the legend Igor. And then we obviously come into this really, really nice pitchfork. Okay. And you probably saw this along the way. I've been updating some, some things on Twitter. If you're not following us on Twitter, of course, you can give us a follow over there if you want to. If you don't, then no worries. <laughs> um, but obviously, I'm updating over on Twitter just, you know, some freebies of, you know, what we're trading at the time. And obviously, we had this really, really, really nice pitchfork. And so we could see how it progresses. Okay. Uh, obviously, yeah, shout out to the people that became millionaires from our calls on Shiba coin. Pretty insane. That's for another video that we're focusing on Bitcoin right now. And obviously we can see here the respect that the pitchfork had from the original finding of the pitchfork, which was one, two, three off of the Eagle sessions here, coming back down for another perfect touch, coming back up to the highs, coming back down to the lows. So each step of the way, once you have these three pivots, we have the pitchfork. And then it's just having the confidence to trade it really was. I gave this pitchfork while it was here in a free public video. It actually gave several more trades. Just had to have the confidence to take them. And then obviously we build our way all the way back down to the pitchfork. We come back up to the top of the pitchfork. I mean, look at the accuracy. Just to the dollar, to the dollar. Okay. You see this coming down to the dollar. We see this. This one was very, very, very close, but a quick move up to the top of the pitchfork and then instantly down to the low of the pitchfork. I just want you to remember that you have to, if you, this is extreme volatility. You cannot trade this if you're not prepared. You cannot trade this if you don't have confidence, truly. You have to have a lot of confidence to take these trades because they're quick. They're very, 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 very quick. I have the confidence to take them. But we obviously saw a really quick rise to the top of the pitchfork and then straight back down to the low of the pitchfork. And then obviously we start to rise. It's 39 BTC profit <laughs> off of a 2% range, by the way. And it's just like, it was a gold mine. It really was a gold mine. But obviously, as everything, <laughs> it is going to break at some point, okay? This, this pitchfork is going to break at some point. And obviously, in the end, it did break. And, and, and actually, kind of a funny little thing here. <laughs> there was a question, who's going along the low of the pitchfork again? That was no, Daniel's gone offline. Obviously, I, I went off and done a Twitch live stream for you all. Didn't take the low of the pitchfork again. And obviously, the pitchfork broke down. Uh, but I'm going to show you something that's really, really, really amazing now. It is absolutely amazing. 
So obviously this gave us uh, in in total uh, one. Two, I would count as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trades. That pitchfork gave seven trades. Let's say you took seven trades. Let's be honest. Six of them definitely should have been winners. One of them could have ended in a loss if you had long the low of the pitchfork again and it broke. Yeah. So six wins, one loss. That loss obviously should have been small. Easy invalidation. Stop loss hit. Look for the next trade. Where's that? Well, we come back down to our weekly. Think to yourself right now, quick move down to the weekly. Can you short at the weekly level of support? The answer really should be no. Can you look for longs at the weekly level of support? Of course, the answer should be yes. So you've come back down to your layer of support. OK, you cannot short here, even if you've missed every single short so far. You were not prepared for the swing failure pattern. You were not prepared to take any of the shorts off the top of the pitchfork. Where can you look for the next short? OK, where can you look for that next short position? Well, let me show you this. Let's come back to the chart. Let's go down on a lower term time frame and let's add on the pitchfork that we had. OK, let's add on this pitchfork. So we're taking our pitchfork tool. We're taking it, put on our magnet. We're taking it from the high of the swing failure pattern to the low. To the high, this is the exact exact pitchfork that we were trading from. Okay, you can see all the respect that it had. In the end, obviously high, lower high, sorry, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, broke down for lower low. This is obviously continuously bearish market structure. For me, highlighted the bearish pressure. And overall, I wanted it to break down. Why? Because I wanted to trade this head and shoulders pattern. So overall, I was looking for downside from the very beginning. Overall, it broke. So if you miss this short position, what are you thinking? Well, you should be thinking to yourself, hey, if you've missed this, no matter, you've got to remain patient for a rise. You cannot short the low of the support. You just cannot do that as a trader. And what you're given is a gift. You are given an absolute gift. As you see this, a rise back up to the weekly level, which we obviously had previously marked on. We rise to that weekly level and look at the confluence that you had here. So if we just hide the higher term time frame levels, Look at that pitchfork. Please just look at that pitchfork. <laughs> we touch it to the absolute dollar, the old support of the pitchfork, flipping into resistance to the absolute dollar, to the absolute dollar, to the absolute dollar. Yes, 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 yes. Like I was saying, the first person in the world to recognize that pitchfork. And then chart champions were the only group in the world to time the highs and lows for the following 24 hours. And not just that, not just being... Not just that, but then also to see the retest after the after the flip of the weekly. That was special. That was special. Everybody was given the chance to short for that one. If if they were if they were ready, if they were prepared, if they followed what I'm teaching, it was there. What happens? We break down. Where do we break down to? We break down to our monthly level of support. Okay. So obviously from those pitchforks, here we find ourselves now at the monthly level. Again, level that we've had marked out, level that we have been aware of. And it all now stems from this head and shoulders. Remember how we originally, as soon as we first hit the low of that head and shoulders, we're thinking to ourselves, hey, there's the left shoulder, there's the head, there's the right shoulder. What are average people doing right now? Average people are scared. Average people are fearful. Average people are selling. People are, are scared. They think there's a head and shoulders. or well, There is a head and shoulders per se. But they really, truly believe that now we're going down to, you know, $55,000, $54,000, $52,000, the target of the head and shoulders. Not once would have I called for the target of the head and shoulders. Why? Because I have a plan. And I'm going to talk you through now a plan and how I come about these plans. Bit of a backstory. Obviously, in the champions group, I do a thing called trade of the week, which is where I go through my analysis. I come up with a plan at the end of it for what I truly believe is a absolutely golden silver platter <laughs> set up and my thought process is obviously I've just just for uh, just for some uh, you know to see what's possible here and what we've done in the past the long from twenty nine thousand dollars where I was calling for the fake out you see how I'm good at thinking of these fake outs fake out of the falling wedge and then the rise as you all know this went exactly as predicted hit twenty nine thousand dollars we hit new all-time highs at sixty six thousand dollars sixty seven thousand sixty eight thousand dollars so this was obviously an insanely good setup but you can actually see from some of the notes obviously we give notes on all of these streams okay at the time i was thinking it's unlikely that liquidity gets untapped and it is good to be aware of the patterns because what the majority of people are seeing we want to counter trade them i wanted to counter trade the falling wedge just so you can obviously see how that went all you need to do is basically 
follow along. We see people, there you go, Younes, doing, I was doing all the hard work with those trade of the weeks and people are still, by the way, holding into those long positions along with me now. Still holding the long from the call, still in as well. That's that 29,000 trade of the week. It's well, obviously above, above new all-time highs. So we've done, we've, I just want to zoom out here and show you something. So on the four-hour chart, we all know there's been three major lows. The $29,000 low before the big rise. And then we pulled back to 39,500 before another big rise. I gave the first trade of the week off of $29,000. I gave a second trade of the week off of $39,800. So each low thus far has been called by myself before it happens as the level of support to long, the level of support too long. Absolutely exactly as predicted. Well, let's go back to think now. Okay, so where does that leave us now? What, what, what has been your latest idea then, Daniel? What's so impressive here? Well, what's impressive is that I absolutely have done this one more time. And this is not to brag, this is not to show off, this is to show you truly what is possible. And that was obviously my latest idea on Sunday, the 24th of October in the Champions live stream. My idea of trade of the week was let's fake out this head and shoulders. We needed to see the rise to the upside to form the right shoulder. We needed to drop back down below to the monthly and fake out. That was the idea I gave on Sunday's Champions live stream. Here it is. There is us bouncing off the monthly, and this is where we are now. Each step of the way, each step of the way, thinking ahead of the game, thinking ahead of what's going to be looking at next. Yeah, and we've absolutely done it. From the original drop of the monthly, <laughs> so the original drop of the weekly, sorry. Just give me the head and shoulders pattern to counter trade, please. 22nd of October. To here on the 28th of October, being able to say exactly as predicted. <laughs> this is this is truly just to show you, really, if you put your mind to it, you know, this is this is this is what's possible. And this is why this is why Chart Champions doesn't need to do any advertising because people know and people recognize what we're doing is powerful. Word of mouth, people spread it, people love it. Don't need to advertise because people can see what is absolutely in front of them. And we have then done it. We have formed the fake out of that head and shoulders. I mean, hopefully that has impressed you. And now it moves on to what's next. So if that has impressed you thus far, smash that like button. Smash that like button as hard as you can. Reach 3,000 likes on this video. And I will do a live stream for you tomorrow for absolutely free for the public. Where we will do another in-depth look at this live in the time together for free. All you need to do is smash that like button to over 3,000 and I'll bring you an absolute free live stream tomorrow if you want that. So with that said, let's zoom in again and take a look. Well, wouldn't you say this is absolutely brilliant? You remember that old pitchfork we traded, lost to the weekly, flipped to resistance, come back down to our monthly to open up the exactly as predicted, move to take above the highs, move to take above the highs, come back down to the monthly, flip the monthly, get everybody scared and then bump it. Well, that pitchfork that we were trading off of, you can now see the respect into the pitchfork, back test of the low of the pitchfork perfectly, move above. And now we have just back tested the middle of the pitchfork. So where is our next move, uh, our target of this to the upside? Naturally, the top of the pitchfork. That is coming in at about $61,277-ish. Okay, this is the top of the pitchfork. So naturally, this is our next resistance. If we get through this, of course, we're looking for the weekly. Okay, GG, we can trade the old range. So this pitchfork, absolutely amazing. Just, just do yourself a favor. It's like I said back in the back in the time when I done the free public video. Do yourself a favor and just add on the analysis I'm giving you. Yeah, <laughs> because as you can see, we are timing the markets to the highs and lows to the dollar. We are preempting these levels perfectly. This is this market is not random. This market is controlled, and I mean, coincidence. I'll let you decide that for yourself. But CC Ball, Chart Champions. I mean, what can you? What can I say? The evidence here is right in front of you what is absolutely possible when you have the money to do what you want to do in this market. And obviously what we can see right now, we have very important support, obviously, once again at the weekly $60,000. Okay, if we're looking for SR flips, that's obviously now coming in at around $59,500. So you might want to just say $59,500, very important level of support. Okay, and then obviously we got the top of the pitchfork, we got the weekly itself, 
and then we're obviously looking at around you know 60 62,500-ish uh resistance which is obviously back back into the old point of control of the prior range so we've got now some really 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 key levels yeah we've got our really big important levels of support to the downside we've got our really big important levels of resistance to the upside and then it just comes to coming to those levels like like we were waiting for the reaction of the swing fire pan you can wait for the reaction you can wait to see the initial rejection and then trade off of it yeah and so it's really simply having that analysis first done then planning what's going to happen if we drop planning what's going to happen if we rise and then really simply waiting for the alert, waiting for the reaction, and then taking the trade. I can obviously make this seem very simple, but I've been doing this many years. What I try and do now is pass on the knowledge, pass on the experience, pass on the insights for you. So you can learn, you can absorb everything I'm talking about, and then you can do this yourself. Yeah, it's possible. People are doing it. We see people right now buying private jets from the profits <laughs> that we've been giving. You know, people are doing an absolute fortune. People are making insane amount of money. Is it from me or is it from the experience that they've now got themselves? Maybe it's a little bit of both. But I mean, the, 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 buying a private jet. People were, I saw in the group yesterday, someone had made $328 million. $328 million on my Shiba Inu call, which is just like, that, that, that's next level profits that's next level profits but nevertheless it's not about i'm not trying to make you jealous or anything it's just like whether you make a hundred dollars profit maybe you make maybe you just make ten dollars profit maybe you're the guy making 300 million dollars profit off the calls you know it's in respect to what you're trading with of course but everybody starts with a low account of capital i mean i did i start from low amount and i build my way up i build my way up slowly but surely yeah slowly but surely it's it's definitely possible some guy flipped some guy flipped with one of our calls a hundred dollars into two hundred and fifty thousand dollars yeah so you don't need a lot of starting capital it's not about that it's about the process it's about trusting the analysis it's about truly about having the plan at the end of the day and then it's just being seamless open to the market open to the market waiting for the reactions taking the trades yeah so yeah then obviously you know so then i said i'll talk you through what we're looking for next and then now we are really simply, we've got this pitchfork to trade next. Yeah, we've got the pitchfork to trade next. We know our level of support to the downside. We know the bigger levels of resistance to the upside. But for right now, once again, we have just got the absolute perfect pitchfork. Lovely, isn't it? Lovely, 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 lovely. So I suppose what I'll end with is saying, you know, if you want to learn about the order flow, if you want to learn to do your pitchforks, if you want to learn the higher term time frame levels, this is obviously for the contenders and the champions. If you want the insights to these type of ideas, this is obviously for the champions, nailing the $29,000 low, nailing obviously the $39,500 low, and then nailing not only to basically, we're going to get a fake out of the head and shoulders, but obviously nailing the low of the weekly, nailing the rise back up into the high, exactly as predicted. But then once again, nailing, um, you know, the, the the idea that it's a fake. So this one actually gave three trades, one trade, two trade, three trades. I mean, <laughs> a lot of good trades. What can I say? But, um, you know, that will come down to being really, really, really having seen this thousands of times. You know, I've seen this so many times. And then when I see other people start saying, oh, head and shoulders is breaking down. <laughs> I just, my eyes light up. What can I say? My eyes light up. Counter trading. Love it. But um, yeah, that's that's the video that I wanted to talk you through today. That's the video that I wanted to really give you the insights from how we were able to, you know, time this market of the lows, of the highs, of every single high and low during the pitchfork, then down to the low of the bounce of the weekly, to the retest of the pitchfork, to the fake out of the head and shoulders pattern, to then the rise back into the pitchfork. Obviously, looking really looking again for it for that for a move to the top of this pitchfork. So, uh, and then if we can get through that higher again, if we break down and we lose the pitchfork, well, guess what? We can look down towards the lows of the game. Uh, final words that I'll end with that I feel are really important and insightful. We're not after one hundred percent win rates. Yeah, we're not. Although, although it seems like it's possible right now, we're not after one hundred percent win rates. What we're after are consistent gains over time. Yeah. So if we're able to make for every win, win, let's just say three hundred dollars, and for every loss, we lose fifty to one hundred dollars. You can see with win rates such as fifty, you know, fifty percent win rate. As long as you're good with your risk management, you are not over leveraging. You know, you can have a fifty percent win rate and make money. 
but that requires patience that requires a dedication and you're not going to do that by gambling you're not going to do that by not putting in any work or effort okay you have to you have to truly understand how this market works and you know the results are in front of you right now people absolutely killing it people still in longs from twenty nine thousand dollars love waking up to profits thank you dang you i mean long from fifty eight thousand six hundred dollars you know people are people are doing well people are absolutely loving this so there's doltex with another you know people trading cardano whether it's shiba inu whether it's cardano whether it's um whatever altcoin whatever stock market whatever forex coin whatever commodity whatever crypto doesn't matter the technical analysis is respected and if you have the passion if you have the love like i have and i absolutely love this i just absolutely love this so i will end with that I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that I've given you some insights. I hope I've given you some, I don't know, inspiration or showing you, giving you some excitement. You know, if I can in, just plant a seed of excitement into you of what's possible and what you can achieve, man, that, 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 that for me feels good because I know I'm going to read the comments in five years time from somebody saying, Daniel, I followed along. You changed my life. Thank you ever so much. Let me buy you a beer. That's the thanks that you can give me. But I want to hear your comments in five years. Stick to the plan and you can achieve it for absolute certain. Absolutely. I've seen a lot of people already have done it. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, I will say it one more time. Smash that like button as hard as you can. Share the video with your friends. Share the video with your family. You know, see if you can change someone's life by alert and, you know, letting them see what's possible here. That's all I'll say. Thank you ever so much, ladies and gentlemen. And I truly, truly, truly wish you a very good day. And I will catch you in the next video that I do. If you want to see more from me before I do the next public video, well, of course, I'm active every single day over in the Champions group. Uh, that's obviously over on Discord. So thank you ever so much. Have a brilliant day. And that's me signing out. Goodbye. With the final disclaimer, of course, we are an educational group. We, we are not giving official financial advice, no financial advice. It's just entertainment, educational videos only. You know, we're here to educate you and empower you. That's it. So with that said, thank you ever so much. Have a good day and goodbye. Cheers.